Hello, this is Sienda. Um, I know it's been quite a while since I've done a book review, but life happened. Anyway, so the book that I'm going to be reviewing is a book by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, and she would, I would say, is one of the best African authors of all time. So, yeah, you're in for quite a good book. Um, anyway, the first book that I bought by her is called Half of a Yellow Sun. And um, it's the only book that I've read by her, but I absolutely, absolutely loved it. I didn't put it down. I probably read it in, I would say, two days. Now, um, from the title of the book, by the way, I didn't know what I was getting into because I never read the back of a book before I buy it, uh, especially if I'm just buying it because I like the author. Anyway, Half of a Yellow Sun, actually, is the was the flag for the country called by Afra that had wanted to exist out of Nigeria in the 60s. So um, this book basically chronicles that process in a fictionalized way. So that's already the first thing that I love about this book. It's an Arab or a period piece or a book that is sent in a time in which the author has never lived. So I found the level of research that was done, the level of empathy used to, in an attempt to write fictional characters um, living in a situation that you have not experienced yourself but do know the ramifications of in your daily life should be com should be rewarded and praised to the highest level because she did it absolutely brilliantly i would say um especially because i especially liked it because um african writers don't generally do this thing where they set that story in the past particularly if it's a painful past and all that because i think it does take quite a lot of research and it's very very easy to come off biased in some way in one way or another and she did a brilliant job of not coming off like that and i absolutely loved that um now the story is written from the perspective of three characters in the life of a woman called gainene she's one set of twins so it doesn't necessarily matter exactly her background story because the book does a huge way of i mean a good job of relaying, I'd say, a three-dimensional story in which it's not necessarily driven by any one character. But the interesting thing about it is that she writes from the perspective of characters. Um, by the way, these characters are going through having lived in Nigeria in upper society or upper middle class lives, Gainena, the main character. She lives um, in, in, a set, in a setting that I absolutely love, Chimamanda, because she's committed to showing Africa from her own kind of perspective, her own viewpoint, which is from a middle class family, which is from um, African kids that have studied abroad and lived in international places and all this. So it's not necessarily the whole poor village girl story that, um, or poor village person story that um, Western media or other literature or, West, or Commonwealth literature will have you think Africa only exists. So. Um, it is her commitment to that that I've always loved about her writing. Anyway, so she writes um, the story of people that are used to a certain standard of living and because of this huge political t change or turn of events are having to um, move away from that to um, follow an ideal that they have. Obviously, it's out of safety because during the Biafran War, before the Af Biafran War, there was an, uh, a military coup in Nigeria in which there was a kind of ethnic cleansing um, of the government and I think as well business in, in one way or another. But anyway, the higher people in the government that happened to belong to one tribe, which was the Igbo, were painfully executed and publicly executed and it was very, very obvious an ethnic-based violent campaign. So that is it does have a huge element of darkness in it coming just from that beginning of the biafran war to the refugee camps and to um obviously the war itself that um, results from that beginning so she does a good job of showing this kind of movement of her characters from upper middle class to the suffering that entailed having to really fight for what she believed for instead of running away which they have the option to to um, go to Europe or to UK and basically watch the whole thing from afar and you do get the sense that the characters understand that this is a big thing that's happening to them yes but at the same time it's not the only thing that's happening 
there are internal affairs that are going on um, marriages are breaking apart or building up relationships are going through the normal kind of um, turn of events or normal course that is not necessarily dictated by the fact that there is a war so it does not come off as a propaganda kind of thing where you know you can feel that the author wants you to think a certain way about things no there's none of that and I could credit that to the level of research that she has done in terms of um, allowing the reader to really really be engulfed in the story which by the way has its bad parts because I found myself so engulfed in the story that I almost forgot that I had tests <laughs> that week at school but that's besides the point ultimately it's a very well written book um, very engaging um, if you especially if you like history a lot it's a very good way of telling a story of something that has happened without making you feel like you're in a history class and e and also on top of that not making you feel as if you think one way or another about it so um, I would recommend you get that book I hope that this has been a very kind of uh, <laughs> good review and I, I don't know if I'm forgetting something. It is written from the perspective by the way of not minor characters but um, ones without much of a very strong voice I would say. So it's that's what lends to the kind of historical element of it of people that not necessarily um, view one view the things that are happening one specific way or another which is um, what the other characters in the story you know would um, think if they had been given the opportunity to be narrating the story. So I liked that about the book. And you should get the book. It's very amazing. Um, Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I was saying Half of the Yellow Sun was actually the flag of the country that was Biafra. And it's a very touching story. Um, extremely touching story. Um, I even started to listen some of the, to some of the music she writes about in it. That's how good a period piece it is, that you do feel the atmosphere of the 60s. And for me, I've always, always, always had this belief that I should have been, you know, um, I would have really loved to live in Africa at that time when there was still hope after independence or when there was still kind of the surge of these pan-Africanist ideals and all that so this book was a good kind of vacation for me to live in that world and I really liked it so this is me read the book um, I think this is the end of the video it's gone on a bit long um, Sianda, Sianda writes on Twitter SiandaWrites.com my website um, on Zai News as well Sianda Panda and Sianda Muhutsiwa on Mail and Guardian Thought Leader <laughs> okay thank you bye